Also, I was asked on YouTube by a guy called Jeremy Ross to do a sort of updated demo video of my Brian May rig that I use. I should point out, I don't gig. This is just me playing at home, just enjoying the Brian May sound. So, my old rig was the Vox Pathfinder, more specifically the one on... Actually, this is it. The one in this corner here. And I had a Vox VT20. Now, the VT20 was okay, but it just it didn't give me the sound that I quite liked. So, I now have a 3 amp setup, which is two Pathfinders and a VBM1. Now, the two Pathfinders, I run them wet. The uh, VBM1 is just go and dry. In terms of actual sort of pedal layout, no pedal board because I'm lazy. But I have a, a Fryer Turn Trouble Booster in the red. That then goes into my uh, Boss Tuner, just a TU2. It does the job for me. Then I have a, uh, a Dunlop Wah Baby. Because you need Wah. Then that goes into an MXR AB box. Because I just wanted like a cheap splitter. I didn't want something, you know something ridiculously crazy, so I just want something that would just split the sound and just do the job for me. Uh, input B is going straight to the VBM1 via the uh, treble booster adapter cable made by Night Audio Technologies, and output A is what's going to the main effects. So it goes straight into this uh, CE5, which then splits into the left and right and they go through my line 6 M5 which does my delays, uh, phaser and harmony effects if I choose to have them so I'll give you an idea of how everything's sounding right now. I should point out that the Pathfinder in the corner closest to this acoustic guitar that has the LED mod done to it so that Obviously, it will have a much more open sound compared to, say, the like, the main sound on that. Like, for instance, the volume on, uh, on the Pathfinder over on the closest to, like this side of the camera, that's on. I'd say maybe, I'd say the volume's on ten o'clock, whereas on the far away Pathfinder, I'd say the volume is on, I'd say maybe close to seven, maybe eight o'clock because it's just that damn loud now. But I'll give you an idea of how the amps sound individual, so I'll turn off the chorus. Right, so this is just the, the VBM on its own. That's that. So I'll let you hear this one first. And now the modded Pathfinder. So that's that amp. So all three amps dry. in the, the chorus just to give us our standard sound. Kind of the the main chorus sound that I've got. 
Phil Blast. <laughs> And I'll give some wah stuff just now actually. So let's get the wah in on this one. Let's see, why is this like not work? That's because I've got that damn big mess of cables here. Yeah, I'll show this video warts and all. Yeah, I'll get a pedal board eventually. Anyway, here's some wah. Not, not the best wire user, but it does that sound. Now, as for the the rest of my effects, that will be the uh, the Line 6 M5 that do that. So, I'll sort of run down the settings. I have kind of like eight main settings that I use, and they each do their own different thing. So, let's have a look here. So, setting one is the Brighton Rock delay, so you hear, oh, like for anyone still trying to work their way in the gear, the idea is VBM1 will be heard first, then you'll hear, uh, I believe the way my setout's working, you have the Pathfinder over here first, and then the Pathfinder over here afterwards. So it's like dun, 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 a bit like that. <laughs> just another chorus sound that I have, which I use if I want to just have everything kind of coming through the, the main effects unit. It's kind of like um, when, like in Brian's current setup, like you, you get like one specific effect on at any time for the most part, which will either be just the chorus or maybe one delay, but you don't hear, you don't tend to hear both effects together, which you know, for the harmony effects, I, I tend not really to bother with switching on and off the chorus in between them. So that does kind of overlay and sometimes maybe distorts it, but if you're getting yourself in that much of a mood for playing, you tend not to notice if you just lose yourself in playing. So it's a good, it's a good feeling. And hopefully nobody will censor me on that last sentence. Anyway, uh, so the chorus sound I've got on this is just... <laughs> So on and off comparison, so this is this is off. On. So there's that effect. Now I do have a phaser set in which you know depending on how many amps I try to use, the phaser uh, 
if I'm using a 2 amp setup, I put the M5 before everything, just so I can have the phaser sound. And I would switch in uh, a Boss DD20 for my delays, which I used on the previous video that I did. So, I'll switch off the... Uh, I'll switch off the VBM1 for this, so all we should be getting now is the, we should only just be getting the two pathfinders now, and now I'll put on the phaser and this is how that sounds. sound and now we come to the harmonies so uh, I'll put the chorus back on just to give me my usual sound so I've only put on three harmony sounds just because they're the ones I tend to play more often just when I'm jamming about myself so the first one is probably the easiest one you can set which is I want it all the the ending note of the solo so just if I can try to make sure, I'm trying to remember what I actually did for putting this on. So, like the only thing with the, the line 6 is, it's only given me the option to do just one note at a time. So I can't do like the perfect two, like two notes they hear going into it, like one note from the left, one note from the right. So I'm only getting one note to work with, so I had to make sure it was a good one. So for the I want it all, uh, the harmony note that I have is down a third. Down a third, and it's on the, uh, I believe it's the, it's in the key of B, D, uh, it's B major scale, so it's, sorry, can I knock in the microphone thing now? So, it's it's just that minor third note down, not the minor third, major third. So that's what that sounds like on its own. So let's say I'm doing the, the final run. So I'm doing this bit on your own. Now with the harmony notes. So it does that trick for me. Uh, the next one is uh, the seven C's intro, which I use for obviously that one bend note, and then I do a little. Uh, I do those parts. So doing that full with the harmonies, it'll sound something like this. harmony that I have is for uh, a few notes and I want to break free. So I saw, um, I believe it was actually Craig Farley that I saw play this sort of rundown part which I don't know why but before when I was playing this I never would play this bit and I saw him play something along the lines of I heard him play that and I was like okay that's nice but then obviously put the harmony on it and it's sounding a bit nicer. If I played it wrong, sorry. You know, by all means, you can you can guys give me ideas of what you you think maybe would sound better in some sections. By all means. Uh, next is one of the well, it's, it's a pitch shift effect. So when they were doing the uh, the Paul Rogers tour they would do some pitch shifting to play some of the uh, some of the songs from Paul Rogers' catalogue. And 
some of them would only be like maybe going down half a step. So I have a half a step sound. Now it doesn't work with the chorus, so you have to turn the chorus off for this. So it's only the the only the two pathfinders you only the two pathfinders you're hearing now. So that's me playing E. Put that on. So just as for that, for this for solo stuff, not so good, but it's you know it'll it'll do enough just so you can play rhythm on a track perhaps. Uh, the next, well, this is the last effect I have mainly on this, which is um, a smaller delay for if you're gonna do um, sail the solo from Days of Our Lives. You want to like you've been doing your 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 lead up part to it. the chorus sound they'll give you like a few now that I've done the pedals and that's the long and boring part out I'll just play through some riffs and some solos giving you an idea of how this sounds with some of the different pickup settings so I'll give you uh, a bit more like bridge and middle and phase stuff just now <laughs> Few people like to play the 
sort of the main rhythm of Days of Our Lives with all three on. <laughs> So there's my updated rig. Hope this was at least somewhat informative, and I do apologise for the rambles and the mess of the cables, but as a thing as a guitarist, that can happen sometimes. So, uh, yeah, just like it. let me know what you think, and if there's anything you guys want to suggest, maybe bits of gear you think might be something that I can maybe look at getting in the future. Obviously, AC30s are the dream, but for now, these guys do me good. So, let me know what you guys think, and thanks for watching.